Good evening. So, what I want to share with you tonight is kind of radical. It assumes that you are already at a certain level of purity, purity of mind. It assumes that your intention is very aligned, very highly aligned to spirit, to abundance, to love, to being an unconditional vessel of the Creator. First of all, this may or may not immediately hit home for you. It may or may not immediately become experiential. When it does become experiential, it does completely shift, 180 degrees shift your, your sense of identity, your sense of who you are, where you come from, what you can do. So, with those things being said, I want you to imagine what it's like to never ever receive anything again. What would that be like, to not ever receive anything again? To not have the feeling, not have the sense that you are at the receiving end of creation. Yes, you are perceiving creation. But are you really receiving creation? What if you're not receiving creation? What if that was never the case? What if 100% of the time you put in place exactly the things that you see? What if it is you that is giving creation its creation, its form? What if there is no external reality whatsoever? And here's where it gets interesting. Here's where the shift becomes practical, where it becomes practicable, where it becomes experiential. And that is when you start to play with this concept, when you start to try it out, and you ignore everything else, you ignore everyone else, you ignore the idea that there is a reality outside of yourself, you ignore the sense, the feeling, it has become a sense perception through automatic conditioning. But you imagine the absence of the feeling that you are walking around in an actual physical world. You just eliminate that for a moment, you press the eject button. Gone. There is no external reality. For just a moment. For just a moment. For just a moment. What are you left with when you ignore, when you disregard that external reality? How does your sense perception change? How does your state of being change? How does your state of consciousness shift its sense of identity? When you stop referencing an outside world, when you stop feeling like there is anything but your presence, anything but your preference, anything but your state of being, how does that shift things? How does that shift things? You have always given yourself this moment. You've always given, you've always created, you've always decided what this moment is going to appear as, what it's going to look like. And you can therefore become conscious of that once again. You can step back into the creator's seat and you can become more deliberate in your manifestations, in your creations, in what you place in front of you. Why? Because you are a god. Literally. And now you can start, since all there is, is you anyway, you can start to shape that. You can start to paint that. You can start to overpower that, overwhelm that with your chosen preference. Until all you see is what you prefer. Until all you see is who you choose to be in that moment. Until all you see this is the frequency you choose to overwhelm your creation with. Instead of asking, oh, what's this reality all about? You decide what it's all about. We are here to create things that have never been created before. We are here to generate. And how do we generate? We generate according to our true desires, to our true inspiration, 
And so take your inspiration, take your desire, take your preference, your true heart's preference, and make that all that you see. As soon as you start only choosing the quality that you desire to experience, your reality will start to have to reflect that, and you will start to feel inseparable with your environment more and more. There's no other way, because your frequency goes so high that you start to see as higher self sees, and higher self sees that all is its own creation. You start to actually vibrationally understand and know that there is nothing but you. That's how creation is. That's how it works. That's because every single moment is a new creation, and you're generating that. You're adding to the expansion of the one getting to know itself in new ways. That's why it's valuable, that's why it's an integrity to the one for you to actually overpower your reality with your preference. Because your preference is your guidance to the most immediate, instant, effortless way to become most of yourself, most fully. And when you're in that state of abundance, in that state of connection, that state of infinity, that state of I am the generator, I'm not the receiver, I'm the creator of reality. You only ever give life to creation. So choose what you desire this moment to become. And regardless of how it appears, regardless of how it reflects you, you do not flinch. You do not flinch. Not once do you flinch. You don't care what anyone else thinks. You don't care what anyone else says. You don't care what anyone else acts like. Only see what you desire to see. Only be what you prefer to be. Only feel what you want to feel. Because it is, in fact, your reality. The sooner you start to become more conscious of that, through practice, the more effortless and natural and relaxed and in integrity it becomes, the more balanced you become. And then you start to really fall in love with your reality, with your creation.